What's poppin' everybody? This is your boy Papa Snap, Trucker Snap, all kind of snaps. As you can see, I'm in a different environment. You see this? You see the seat? It's a little leather. It's not it's probably pleather, but you know it's a little. It's, it's nice. Um. So recently, me and my wife, she's right here. Hello. Which was like yesterday. Um, we got a new truck. Recently is yesterday. We got a new 2019 Freightliner Cascadia. It has about 300,000 miles on it. And I'm gonna do a review for you guys. But I wanted to talk about something. Um, when I started with this company, it's a small company in Chicago. Um, based on, you know, as a new driver, I thought that in order for me to get a higher pay, I would have to go with a company that probably drives or operates with older equipment. So that's what I saw when I was looking at jobs. I, I was seeing that if they were paying more, um, the equipment typically is a little bit older, you know? So that's why I thought I was very, you know, as I was searching for different um, opportunities. But then I realized um, my job was getting new trucks. But I didn't get any new truck. I, I had a, like a 2016. And I've been in with them for like a year and a half. I had a 2016 Freightliner Cascadia. And it's not an old truck, but um, it's like it has it had about like 600,000 miles on it. I had two of them. They were like 600,000 miles on it. I drove one up to 700,000 miles. But um, I mean they were older. And, you know, like they had the fabric of the seat was different. A lot dusty, a lot more dustier, and it's just more worn out. Um. The reason why I was getting out of that truck is because the transmission started to, it was an automatic transmission and it started to like uh, slip or it wouldn't get into gear like um, when I was going up the mountains and sometimes I would go extremely slow. That's one, like climbing mountains were, was extremely slow for that truck. But also um, sometimes the automatic shift would just shift to neutral and just stop there. But what I'm here to talk about is, um, it's different, okay? We're in a brand, uh, a fairly brand new truck because it has 300,000 miles on it, so it's been running for a year or two already. But the efficiency, like when I'm going up the mountains, is just smooth. That's amazing, okay? And the way the truck feels is like it's it's efficient. It feels like quality, you know. Um, I'm grateful. I'm truly grateful because I, I I thought I would have to drive that old truck and you know it, 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 I don't like being in an unclean space and I don't like feeling like um the vehicle I'm driving is not reliable. So get yourself a new truck. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Get yourself a new truck. I actually um the funny thing is they they wanted to get me out of my old truck so they can send that truck to. To the uh, Freightliner dealership to get the transmission looked at, but they wanted to give me another old truck, and I, you know, I work really hard for this company. I bust my ass. He really does. <laughs> I work really hard, and I bust my ass. Y'all don't even know what miles are like. And I, I um, a couple months ago, I wanted to get a new truck, but um, the money wasn't looking right couple months later you know after you worked real hard you know you done put something together the money started looking different so at that point I felt like I had leverage um it was a it was a thing where I thought I was saying to myself well if they're not gonna give me a, a newer truck then I, I you know I'm, I'm gonna take a step step back and um maybe go home and you know just chill for a little bit so I was like, one thing about when you negotiate things, you gotta be willing to walk away. That's the most important thing about negotiation. You gotta have yourself in a position that you can walk away. And you know, I've drove, driven for about three years, close to three years, and my record is pretty respectful. It's a decent record. Like, you know, um, companies would be very uh, happy to have a driver like me on their, on their side. So, I told the person that was in charge at my company, hey, you know, 
he because he gave me he pretty much gave me an ultimatum hey um you can leave your stuff in the truck and we'll send it to the dealership and we'll give you a loan or truck or whatever or take a flight home because he wanted me to take a flight home from chicago to florida florida and um he said just think about it overnight but like whatever your, you think your options are but um i you know i thought about it i slept on it and i said I'm going to clear out everything out of the truck because the whole thing is if I left my things in the truck and I flew home and came back, I mean, I would have to come back because my things are in the truck. So I said, I'm going to rent a car, load it up all my stuff because we have like fridges and all kinds of things in here because we don't have an apartment. We just straight trucking, straight trucking. We just stay consistent. It cuts all expenses and you don't have no car note insurance uh stacking and snacking you don't have no uh like property like uh you know like you don't got no rent whatever it costs like to live Debt. at home you, you you're you're less you don't you have less of those things so you're able to you know move a little bit more freely needless to say needless yeah needless to say i told the guy that was in charge, listen, I'm going to clear out all my things out of the truck. I'm going to drive home from Chicago to Florida. And if you and get a new... Car. Yeah, because I, I was asking for a newer truck, but he said he had none. So I said, if you get a newer truck, you give me a call. And it was pretty much, I, you know, just letting them know, you know, this this is this ball is in your court. <laughs> if you want me to clear my stuff out and leave here, there's a chance I might not come back because I might find a company that's better. It's going to give me a new truck. There's a chance. And I will be searching. I will be searching. You know, there, there's an opportunity there. But um, within that very same moment of me telling him that, he said he'll have a truck coming in that's fairly new within a couple of days. Because at first, he said he had none. That's the first thing he said. He had no trucks. So he thought I was going to fold. That's what black people say. <laughs> he thought I was gonna, I was gonna break. That's an urban myth. <laughs> but no, 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 no. At that point, like I said, we were able to imagine what you pay for rent. We were able to save. Well, how long we been on the road? For months. You save what you know what you. A which, amount. Yeah, you save whatever you spend in rent. We didn't have to spend that. All we did is go on vacations whenever we felt like it before coronavirus. We're just humbly grateful to God for all of our blessings. Amen. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like, uh, <laughs> having that mentality is very powerful. So that's why I, was, I wanted to finish it away. Having that mentality is very powerful. You know, sometimes um, it's very difficult out here as a trucker. I'm not here to, to lie and tell you, you know, we haven't been through some challenges. But um, I guess it's, it's about looking at what is it worth to you. That's the most important thing. What What's more important to you? And you make that decision. But it's your boy Chuck and Snap and Girl QP in the back. Bye, guys. Peace.